you guys see me, it's still kind of dark outside, but I got my light on. I know it's been about, what, two weeks. Um, finally came back, came back from Kansas City. I'm not gonna lie, I had a really good time. They didn't want to come back, I wanted to stay. Prices wise, everything's so freaking cheap out there. Except the food, the food's about the same price as Cali. Especially eating out, buying groceries. And anyone from Kansas City, you, you guys know, right? But had a good time. Probably do like a little recap of um, me, you know, sourcing around for a bit. I was with my buddy, so I didn't record much at all, to be honest, but the fact that I brought my GoPro, recorded just a tad bit, just a little bit. And um, yeah, honestly, it was more of a vacation than me doing YouTube at the time, but let, let's go back and see and, and, and see how it went for me. You know, just just a little, a couple little parts I just wanna show you guys, just for the heck of it. But I'm actually, I'm actually over here pulling up at the Oakland Flea Market. I have just a few things to sell. I'm, I'm also gonna buy today. I got a few books I gotta sell. Actually, I got a lot of books I gotta sell. Plus, I got a little bit of costume jewelry I'm gonna sell to, to a lady who I promised I was gonna show her some stuff. So, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead, go back to Kansas City, show you guys just a little bit, just me and my buddy just messing around. Uh, and, uh, yeah, back here to the, uh, back here to the flea market, back at Oakland. I didn't want to come back, I said I wanted to stay out there. So it was just, it was chill, it was a pretty chill day. But, all right. Let's go ahead and get to it. We got bandanas. We found some Patagonia over here at the bins. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go record we got. We're at the bins right now. Can't record much because I'm having too much fun, but it's a little sample. Oh, that's kind of a quick turn, but I'll be on my buddy get started. Got some Patagonia, some little birch. We're in Kansas City. Of course, gonna get some. I get the, the cheese over here. It's a jacket, I think. I think that's what it is. NFL. We got a few personal things. A little NASCAR tie. What else do we got? Some Jordan. Jordan's jacket. Yeah. So they're actually rotating stuff right now. What you got there? I don't know. For yourself? Yeah, but I don't usually get Atex anymore. I mean, like a V size. Oh, okay. Or, Cause that's that they just, there's not enough, they're, they're like mostly oldies and I'm like not really interested. Oh really? Alright cool. I found a Cypress Hill one once but it belonged to somebody else. I was like how the fuck did I get this on Cypress Hill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I guess I gotta go, gotta get ready for the next uh, round of picking out stuff. Cool. My GoPro? Yeah. Oh because I also do YouTube videos. Oh nice. Yeah. We're looking at, brand, oh, brand new is 50 bucks. It's beat to death. <laughs> we found some pink. Whoa. Pink, billabong. These are for you, right? Those are for you. Uh, what is this? Uh, Champions hoodie. One sold for thirty dollars recently. So this is off. This not nothing for me here, but it's for my buddies and helping them find stuff. So I haven't I haven't lost my touch. I mean. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I can be here all day and just make pull out hundreds of dollars of merchandise. It's that easy, and it can be that easy. But yeah, we're here. We've been here for about 30 minutes. We're gonna set this back. This is more traveling. See what else we can find. Don't look through the dirty underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid the stains. Assemble in Mexico. It's pretty yellow. Double down. Oh, they're right there, dude. Right there. What? Right there. Right there. That one? Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, George? George. Georgie? Just George. <laughs> George? No. I can set Georgie back. <laughs> place? Children's place. Children's place. Trash. Brand new. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Trash. Basura. This one? You can keep that really as a keychain. Very large. Very really large. You can keep that. You don't want that as a keychain? No. Yet. Yet. It might sell. <laughs> it might sell. I don't think I need all those bags. Well, just take. Oh, they gave you three. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You're set. Put that card over here. What? Your hands 
some. Oh, do they have some? Yeah. Oh, nice. No, it's not electrical. <laughs> You are rotating the west wall, north wall, four and five. Holding the camera so I can do one hand at a time. West wall, you got a what? North wall, four and five. You ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is only your second time here. So keep coming here, dude. You're like, you have, you have it 15 minutes away. I don't so. even have a garage, man. <laughs> no, but you have a place. A lot of people don't have places. Oh, man. Yeah. I know, huh? Uh, that's it for today. <laughs> Laugh at it. So this part is like the center of Kansas City and we're in Missouri, Kansas City. Yeah, where the right. bids were at. Yeah. So they got a couple of thrift stores out here, huh? Yeah. I want that full port. What? I want that full port. Okay. But if you say that the Manchester chicken is bomb, it's fire. It's fire. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so green out here, dude. Like, it's so everywhere. You, well, if any of you guys watching it from Kansas City, it's so green out here. It's really nice. And my buddy's convincing me to buy a house out here. Besides the gas prices and everything being so dirt cheap, and you still don't want to drive gasoline for me back to Cali. I'll pay you for that. You know what? This Jeep? Oh, this Jeep, I'll pay for your gas. It's a day drive. Well, the way you're driving, you'll get there in 18 hours. Nah, this, Jeep, this Jeep's fucking busted as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do a rental, we'll do a van. It can bring me a lot of gas in time. I'm pretty sure that's illegal, dude. <laughs> no, one, no one knows that. <laughs> Your YouTube video will have oh, turned off. <laughs> they. Okay, only they would know. That's it. No one else will know. No one else is just between you and me, dude. Because for you filled up your tank for thirty dollars, and that's a here, crime. Cheap gas. That's a good. That's such a crime out here. Well, I don't know. Out here. I like the houses out here, though. Just move out here. It's easier. I want that thirty. dollars Now I know. I know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> well, I know this guy since high school, so we BS all the time, and I kind of missed that. You know, that's kind of lost in friendships now. A lot of people are pretty serious now. Like, you can't joke around with people like that. It's, uh, it's a high school thing. But, yeah, it was fun. I plan on going back. I definitely want to go back next year, and hopefully by then I'll definitely do a lot of videos when I go. For sure. That's for sure. <clears throat> It's pretty cold today, so my throat's a little, it's a little off right now. And uh, yeah, all right. So that that was fun. So now here in Oakland, I'm gonna wait for this book guy to show up. Hopefully he shows up because I actually called them up about today. I have a lot of books I want to sell. Try, trying to get four hundred dollars, but I'll be happy with three fifty, honestly. And the dude sells a lot of books and he sells it better than I do. And, and I, it's, I, I don't want to do books. It, it, it ain't really for me. And a little costume, but I'm mainly here. I haven't bought off that. Uh, the, the vendor that sells jewelry so looking forward to buying more jewelry of course that's that's my thing you guys know so uh yeah let's go ahead and uh wait for this guy to show up the lady to show up for the jewelry and for me to buy some jewelry it's more than last time and and i can do 350 on everything but it's way more than last time so the guy's gonna get his cart and I was gonna say 400, but I just said 350. Just let him take it. And uh, it's a lot of books, a lot of good books. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of like, uh, it's not not that many used, but for sure like up to date books that barely came out. So uh, I told you guys, I did a little bit of everything. So if he tries to work me down, I'm still gonna say 350. So I really, I really haul that stuff because I know I can sell it better myself if I sell it myself. I don't want, I don't want to do that. Let him take it. Let him take it all. Alright man, check it out, it's a lot of boxes. I think 350 is fair, any extra ones, I'll, I'll, I'll throw it in for you. I think I have a couple more here. No records, huh? Uh, no, no records. No records, uh, I'm asking 30 for, yeah. Okay, thank you man. Alright, no, so I know it's, yeah, it's a lot, so. Get those all ready. If I find any more books in here, I'll toss them in. I'll send them aside. I think I have a couple more. I got some Birkenstocks. 
They were listed on eBay for like 90, but they're not selling. And I looked at the original price, they're like, they're like 75, 80, but I'm gonna ask 50 here. I'm gonna ask 50 or 60 bucks. I mean, I paid, I think, 35 or 40. Not a lot of profit, but a little something. Some Waterford crystals. I already have these, but I bought them at a thrift store for 10 bucks. And I have too much glass already, so I mean, these pair I already have. So for talk quick 20 me. bucks, they'll be good. You talk about me. Yeah, yeah all crazy. the stuff I get. Listen. He's always telling me. Listen, I'm crazy. What about you? <laughs> he always says you need a bigger car. And, <laughs> and, and I don't know how you have any room left in your house when he sees me. I'm crazy. I need to stop like I need a holding money. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll have fun with it. It's fun going through everything. Listen, it's a treasure hunt. Listen, you, you just with us you gonna do. Huh? The money money is no good in the bank anyway. That's it. <laughs> as much as I agree. Stuff. There you go. That's right. Well, I'll say that to you. Hey, Goodbye. Uh yeah, I'm gonna start taking off some stuff yeah, right now. I'm just gonna So there are a couple of things for 320. Some new stuff. She she buys a lot off of me. Those are the people you want to take care of. The people who buy off of you the most. I know. Look at me. I bring yeah, it's, it's like it. Oh no, yeah. The amount of books. The amount of, the amount of books that I bring. Yeah. <laughs> That's a puzzle it. So it won't fall. That's another thing on Vinte. Okay, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20. Thank you. Okay, very, perfect. Thank no, you. thank you. I appreciate okay, it. No, thank you. I appreciate it too. I'm glad, I'm glad they didn't get me because I bring a little extra when I know you. Uh, yeah. I didn't know for sure you were kind of upset if I got hit. Oh, no, no, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't believe it actually happened over here. I mean, I believe it, but. No, I believe uh, <laughs> it too, but you know, it is. It is um, See, I get here at six, so most time, and it is dark, so somebody could take advantage. But I'm pretty much inside after that, which I'm, um, you know what I mean. And when I come in by, I try to park as close to the entrance as possible. I, I'm, I, where, the very first row, very first next row to where least. they park to load up. I'm like the very first there, so you but, can actually the guy standing at the gate can actually almost see. You know what yeah, I mean? That's right. Yeah. But um, you know, but you, you more people, you get further out, and yeah, my, my, if you're by yourself and a woman, and you it, know. Yeah, it's. I, I just keep hearing stories of the stuff happening over there huh? in, the in the parking lot and here too but mostly out there out where in the parking lot oh yeah oh. yeah oh right uh -huh. that's what i'm saying i'm kind of in and i stay in and you know like i said i'm close and but some lady got robbed over in the parking lot and that does happen out here i've heard so much stories of people getting robbed inside outside and Gotta be careful, guys. You gotta be careful when you go to Oakland, because it can happen to anybody, anytime. Shoot, even to me, but but it won't happen to me because it just won't. Now I'm joking. Now it could happen to me. It could happen to anybody, and it's very unfortunate when it does happen. So uh, yeah, when you guys go to Oakland, be careful. Be careful. Some lady they just robbed her her bag or her purse or something. So pretty much kind of near the entrance what i was told too which is crazy there's a lot of people near the entrance but they, they, they don't care they'll, they'll rob you in front of anybody which is which sucks yeah so i'm up i'm up close to seven i got one of my buddies who's gonna buy a couple of things off of me too so i'm trying to hit that 1k mark like look it's cloudy it's cloudy as heck and it's nice i see jewelry over there but i might ask about those prices later some watches and DVD, some books for 190. It's kind of cool. It's sealed. That was a damn collect that would collect in that. The Puma watch. The Dark Knight. It's a lot of Batman stuff. <laughs> 25 CDs? Okay, cool. You're going to take them? All right. Um, can I use 30? Yeah, that's cool. You're right now. It's all good. We're at zero. Oh, okay, thanks. it's all good, man. All right, thanks, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, don't, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. <clears throat> if you need to tie it more, I got more, more like rope stuff in the back. You got no bags? Uh, oh, yeah, I got bags up there. You can grab some uh, up there. I want to get this too. You want to get that? Yeah. You can have that. Are you sure? Oh, you can have that. Of oh, course. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, it's it's health wise for your gut. Yeah, yeah. You can so have I that. thought it would be interesting to. Thank you. Of course. That was very nice. Of course. 
I'll tell you guys, take care of your customers and they'll take care of you. Okay guys, after uh, doing a couple of sales, I didn't take on much stuff, but went ahead and sold usually to the regulars. That That is what makes my day, but I think I'm pretty late now. There's like no one on the table. I think all the good stuff is taken, but it does that butt again, but I know for a fact he always has stuff he takes to other flea markets that he n never take out on the table because people don't pay that stuff. I'm the type of guy that pays the stuff. So I'm gonna ask him if he has any anything like this Pandora. I know he takes out a few good stuff here. This is not the market, guys. This is Oakland, and I wouldn't. If I was him, I wouldn't dare take out stuff like that either. Marcus site and citrus and glass or something. Sterling. I used to buy a lot of these. Um, I mean, I still buy these. But the whole mother of pearl and pearl, like I do so bad with them online. I don't get it. Other people do very good, and I don't, I don't do good with those. So this makes a nice Mexican piece. It's pretty old. Yeah, that's an old Tasco sterling. That's really nice. Can't believe this is still here. Can't believe I just set it back down. Ha! Oh, that's busted. I wouldn't have bought it anyway. This is pretty cool. It looks like a puzzle piece. This has to be uh, Mexican. Made in Mexico, Sterling 95. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like how it looks, like a puzzle piece. Well, that'd be cool. There's a couple and find all of it together. Ooh, that'd be cool to make, right? I make make a a, a bracelet. That's a good idea. Don't steal that. It's it's patent now. Don't steal that. It's gonna be on the on the Tiffany now. You're gonna find it on Tiffany. <laughs> A lot of cool stuff. Yeah, there's nothing. Pandora. Well, if I find it, I know he has to make some money. So these are probably like 75 to 100 bucks here. This one for sure. This one has a lot of charms. I mean, you uh, you guys know the prices for charms. It's ridiculous. The prices for in the store is unbelievable. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I still buy them. Yeah. Look at all this stuff he doesn't even take out. These are things he wouldn't sell here. For like other customers, it's weird. Like here, I mean, he'll bring good stuff out, but I know he has stuff for like other food markets that sell. Like as I told, as I mentioned, you guys, I know a lot of vendors do the same thing. Certain flea market, they'll sell certain things that, or some of them, they'll just take out everything. But he told me this is one of the bags I can look at. I can't look at that. He said, but uh, respect that. So. So a few things in here I'm a, I can peep out. I really see something like these bracelets. These are Caroline. This designer called Caroline Polak bracelets. These, these, the, the market for these, it varies. It's so weird. It's 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 everywhere. Any any moment this bracelet can sell for thirty dollars. Next week or a week after, it'll sell for seventy dollars. So these are like, it's hard to tell. It's hard to give out a price on these. And but these are things I kind of avoid sometimes. I mostly go for, for Caroline Polak. Like I'll probably go for like the, the necklaces and the, the ring. The, and the same thing with the rings and the earrings. It's just really uh, what's, what you feel like you can sell it for. <laughs> but let me, take a, let me take a look at some of these things. All right, so it's a lot of stuff, so I won't be able to record everything because it's going to take me maybe 45 minutes to an hour to look at every single piece. But we're going to skim through some stuff. I'm going to set aside what I'm going to like and what I don't like. I'll still show you guys. I'll show you guys a few things. I have it right here. So remember those bracelets I told you guys? Like I said, like the market for these, for this designer, Caroline Polak. I got sold plenty of that stuff where at one moment I'm selling 50, 80, 75, 40 maybe dollar items and all those items are still listed on there and I've had to go down to pretty much what I paid for for it to sell and I've lost money on a few pieces. It, it's hard to tell you guys about this this, uh, this certain designer but um, yeah I mean it's still neat to look at. Everywhere. Oh, that's a sandcast. 
bracelet. Pretty tiny. Well, if it's signed, that's a good thing because the plain ones, they're kind of hard to sell for me. Uh, I think that says, I know it says Be Gay. FT or FL. Uh, this might be uh, one to worth grabbing, I would say. Oh, that's a cool club cost. Is it chrome heart? Oh, it's signed too. It's pretty heavy. Oh, that's a uh, Barry, uh, what's it called? Barry Kessel, Kesselstein? Kesselstein? I've never seen the cross before. That's, uh, this is new to, new to me. I, I know this designer. I don't come across it too often, to be honest. Maybe a couple of pieces ever in my lifetime. Because everyone knows, everyone knows what they are. And when they do have it, that I mean, it's uh, pretty much eBay price, so I can't, I can't buy it unless I want it for myself. Then I'll buy it. But that's pretty cool. The necklace too. The necklace also. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna ask about those things. I can't say for sure how much he's gonna want. This one is a or is another Caroline Polak. You see, so rings like these. It's uh. It's so weird. I have a buddy that does very, very good with these. Like for something like this, he'll list it at 125. And I would sell them at like 40 bucks on eBay. But he sells them for 125. That's that's insane. Oh, there's Tiffany. Ooh. Tiffany is a no-brainer. And I know a lot of you guys tell how how can you tell if it's real? But like I said, like you do something for so long, you can. It's like that gut feeling. You either think it's real, you know it's real, or you don't think it's real. If I don't think it's real, I don't buy it, but this one is for sure. Because I've sold this one before. And this one can go anywhere from... I think the last one I sold was definitely over a, a buck fifty, For sure. So let's call it $150 to $200. But with the blue enamel. This bracelet is, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab for sure. One that are really clean. It's nicer when it's all, when it's all, uh, when it's not like that. When it's not all tarnished and, you know. And another way to tell, like a dead giveaway, you see how solid the links are? They're all soldered. Very, very good. If you see these opened, that's just, that's a red flag right there. If you see these links opened for necklaces or, or bracelets. Okay guys, so I kind of fast forward a little bit because I gone through half the bag already. And uh, right now uh, I pulled out some Tiffany & Co, um, some Huggies. These, I've sold anywhere from 150 to 180, $180, but it's a solid 150 for sure and I remember the last time I bought a pair not from not from uh, this vendor from other vendors where I didn't pay close attention but each huggy was a different size and I think I paid 50 bucks for it so I had a I had to sell them as a single single earrings and kind of one I lost like four, ten dollars but I, I did now now I double check sometimes you don't need sometimes you don't I mean I don't check sometimes but uh it's happened, and it it, it have also happened. I'm sure of it. So there's some little huggies, signed 1837, TNCO 95. What else is here? You can join. Me. You giving me this or? I can sell it to you. Okay, how much? <laughs> Ten bucks. No, I don't want. I don't want to even touch. <laughs> This one is signed, and I've seen this designer before. So I know it ain't gonna be 150. Yet. I don't know how much it's gonna ask. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask how much it's gonna want for that one. I like this one. This is cool. It's enamel, Mexico. It's definitely vintage for sure. Looks like the. To me, it's kind of like those uh, Mexico biker rings. I mean, what else? Uh, this bolo. I like. I'm a sucker for bolos. I love buying bolos. 
It's not the biggest one, but it's still really... I, I like it. I love buying bubbles. Even if they don't sell, I just like having them at the house. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Out of anything I like to buy, I like buying bolos. The bolo is for sure. Here's a Tiffany mesh. Mesh ring. Gonna get this one right here. Man, after getting distracted like a hundred times, <laughs> I was finally able to finish the whole bag. Cool pieces. There's a lot of pieces. There's a lot of like that designer Caroline Pollock and Judah Ripka. That's the majority of the stuff in here. Honestly, uh, this is kind of cool right here. I'll put the enamel on that one. Some more rings. This bow is cool. It, it's, I don't know, I just don't like the center of it. I like the outer part. It's a good size. I'm gonna have to pass on that one, but these are the things I'm gonna get over here. So these are these I know are, are really good sellable items. Oh, everything's sellable. Oh wait. Uh, oh, that's cool. That's an, that's an Effie, Zuni. How the heck did I miss that? Put that there. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. So let me see how much he wants, and I can get on out of here. Because after my vacation, I got so much to do. But these are things I'm gonna get. Let's go get it. La, la de colorcito, no? Yo creo que es. No, esta. Oh, no, yeah, it is. Si es. Ok, mira. 35 por esta? Si. 35. Just toss them in here as we go. Ok. 35 for the other Tiffany necklace. Are they Tiffany earrings, right? Yeah, they are, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. How much for those? Uh, 35 for me. Okay, 35. Uh -huh. That's all right. Okay. That works for me. Okay. Uh, Tiffany bracelet. Primero que agarro plain. Yeah. ¿80 te parece bien? 80 75 okay. I, I'll sell the I'll double with 150 after okay. I'll yeah. make a little bit yeah, yeah. okay I'm gonna really double but uh, I'll attach it take away something but 25 uh, but, uh, yeah 25 Stephanie also Tiffany Tiffany 40 40 yeah 40 bucks Tiffany 40 huggies yeah that's okay 40 bucks Tiffany huggies okay yeah yes like a ring and I have to come back a ring uh, 70 for 70 okay. let let me hold off on this one actually let, 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 let me okay let me see if I can sell it can yeah. I take it and see if I can sell it yeah, yeah, is yeah. that okay yeah and sure. I'll pay you the 70 yeah yeah sure, okay sure, sure. that's trust right there okay yeah let me see if I can sell this one yeah, this one this one 30 yeah that's right Effie. I don't know what that means. 5,000. <laughs> uh, 40? Yeah, that's okay. He knows the stuff. This one... 60? Yeah, that's okay. This is Sankas. It, it, it's in the sign too, yeah. Sankas. Okay. Sign. Those are the... the this Judith, one. Uh, Those are Judith Rickles yeah. too. Both of them are Judith Rickles. Okay. ¿Te parece bien 60 cada una de estas? 60... I, I can, I'll be honest, I can sell them for maybe 100 or 115. Uh-huh. 55 each? Yeah, 55 each? Okay, mm -hmm. I feel like we're going to sell because I, I get my money back with one and I okay. make profit on another one. So I'll be 110, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, esta te parece bien 70? Yeah, I can do 70. Okay. Bueno, ni cuánto pagué, ni por esta. Like ten dollars? <laughs> no, you're right. I thought you found that in the junk pile. Te parece bien estas 175? 175? Yeah. Yeah, I can do it. Pienso que es buen precio por eso. It's a good price. Yeah. Well, I only paid 50 cents a gram, so it wouldn't be 175. Yeah, por esta 125. 
120. Close. Yeah, 120 is yeah. yeah. I was close. Sixty for it. Sixty? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one thousand seventy-five. Okay. Total. Okay. The numbers are coming. Okay. <sighs> All right. Overall, not bad for today. After doing a few sales, what you guys saw and uh, sales I did, not recording. That's the right way to say it. <laughs> I did a thousand. I kind of a thousand one hundred and. 70 something like 74 76 something like that so pretty good just for a couple of hours of hoarding stuff and just uh you know selling it to people so um that went straight to jewelry <laughs> jewelry and you guys saw that uh that mexican ring so if it's if i want it i'm kind of uncertain on the price with certain people are, are okay with me taking it and trying to sell it if i can't sell it they're okay with me bringing it back or if i do sell it then I pay for it. That's kind of like a, a trust bond with uh, certain vendors. So it's got to keep that with a lot of other vendors so they can trust you, you know? And uh, yeah, so pretty good jewelry pieces that I hope to upload, upload this week. Uh, I just got back and everything's freaking hectic all over. It's, it's all, uh, yeah, my mind's running. I'm like on three hours of sleep right now because I was working kind of late. Um, Cause I'm kind of tired right now, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. I always want to take a nap, but I can't because I gotta go meet somebody right now. Do a couple of deals and then head on home. Power nap, do like a little power nap, 15 minutes maybe. An hour sounds nice to be honest, but uh, well, I'm trying to retire before I hit 40. That's my goal. That's my uh, I want to retire when well, I retire, but I want to live comfortable before I turn 40. I'm 35 right now, and that's old. <laughs> I'm saying that right now, it's old. So that's, I'm trying to get things done before I hit 40 and then probably in, all right, well, <laughs> if I live till 60, 70, I can enjoy my time peacefully with no, with no stress and nothing like that. So, so yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope to upload uh, another one uh, this coming week or the one after and see where we go from there. See what's next on the list. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. All of you who have been watching me from the beginning. Uh, the, thanks to Matt from Part Time Picker that threw a shout out for me. I haven't seen him in a while. He's, he's been he's been out there in another state, so he's been doing this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, and those of you who are new, you know, welcome. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you guys later.